Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, we will be talking about control mechanisms for Islamic banks in Malaysia and Bahrain. Specifically, we are going to look into two models of Sharia governance framework. The first one is centralized model and the second one is decentralized model. The centralized approach is based on a central Sharia board attached to a central bank which regulates the product conformity and activities of all Islamic banks. Each Islamic bank shall have its own Sharia supervisory board but it must comply with the ruling set by the Central Sharia Board. In Malaysia, the central financial authorities are the Central Bank, Bank Negara Malaysia as well as Securities Commission. There are two Sharia governance structures which have been established which are, firstly, the Sharia Advisory Council SAC at Bank Negara Malaysia and Sharia Committee in each Islamic bank. The Sharia standards followed are those of the SAC of BNM and of the Securities Commission. Oh, in addition, there are also other functions established by Islamic banks to support the Sharia Committee. These are Sharia Review, Sharia Audit as well as Sharia Risk Management. Sharia audit refers to a function that provides an independent assessment of the quality and effectiveness of the bank's internal control, risk management systems, governance processes, as well as the overall compliance of operations with Sharia. On the other hand, Sharia audit refers to a function that conducts regular assessment on the compliance of the operations, business, affairs and activities of the Islamic banks with Sharia requirements. Lastly, Sharia risk management identifies measures, monitors and reports Sharia non-compliance risks in the operations, business, affairs and activities of the Islamic banks. These core functions are required to be performed on a continuous basis to ensure effective management within the bank. Some important provisions of IFSA on Sharia requirement for IFIs are Section 28, Subsection 1 and Subsection 2. It states that IFIs shall ensure that its aims and the entire operations are in accordance with Sharia rules at all times. If there is any event of non-compliance, it must be reported through the Orion system. Next, let's take a look at the decentralized model of Sharia governance framework for Islamic banks in Bahrain. In a decentralized model, the Islamic banks have their own Sharia board which are totally independent of the central bank. This means that the Sharia board of each Islamic bank decides on the rulings and conformity of the products offered. The permissibility of contracts and Sharia compliant financial products are decided by their own Sharia committee. Islamic banks in Bahrain have their own Sharia Supervisory Committee to ensure all the business and operations are in compliance with Sharia in line with IOFI's governance standards. These are governance issued standards by IOFI for industry adoption. Take for example the Internal Sharia Audit. This prescribes the compliance, quality control and ethical requirements as well as objectives along with the professional requirements reporting for Internal Sharia Audit. These are the seven Sharia governance standards outlined by IOFI for IFIs. The role of Audit and Governance Committee AGC with regard to the internal control is to ensure the IFI has the appropriate control in place. The IOFI is based in Bahrain and its vision is to guide Islamic finance market operation and financial reporting on Sharia principles and rules. It is also to provide Islamic finance markets with standards and guidelines that can support the growth of the industry. So, because each Islamic bank has different control mechanisms due to the decentralized model, let's take one example, Al Baraka Islamic Bank of Bahrain. Al Baraka Islamic Bank Bahrain has a Sharia supervisory board which is responsible to ensure all operations and activities are in compliance with Sharia principles, as well as monitor and supervise transactions to ensure full compliance with the board's decisions. In addition to the Sharia board, they also have internal Sharia audit. This checks for compliance with policies and procedures and the effectiveness of the internal control systems on an ongoing basis. This function acts as an independent department reporting directly to the Sharia supervisory board. Other than that, Al Baraka Islamic's internal control also include an organization structure with clearly defined authority limits and reporting mechanisms, a risk management function as well as a set of policies and guidelines relating to credit risk management, asset and liability management, compliance, operational risk management, and business continuity planning. 
that is all for the video today i hope the information was very clear if you like this video do subscribe to my youtube channel inshallah i will be posting more uh, content related to islamic finance and if you have any questions do drop them in the comment down below thank you assalamualaikum